All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load in the track that I want to transfer. Uh, that's going to be, we'll just use the same one that I used for the last video. And uh, hey, yeah, you know that one. All right, so next I'm going to set the bars. And I have it set for four bars. And if there's any sample that I have that's going to overlap, then it's going to cut off exactly at four bars. So to prevent that in the final mix, what I want to do is set it to about six bars just so in case there's any overlap of a sample that you know I don't want it to just cut off immediately um, it'll play out and then I can fix it when I upload it into my computer um, next I'm gonna go back to my track mute we're gonna mute everything go to our uh, effects mode and pad 12 effect we're gonna turn everything off Um, because I just don't, I'd rather add the effects when I'm in my, uh, in my computer and that, and those effects in there are a little bit better. Sometimes, you know, it depends on what type of sound you want and I'll keep them uh, in the MPC sometimes and mix them with these effects and compressors and, and, and delay or, or reverb or whatever more so than the other one, than my computer, um, just based on the track that I'm working on. But for this one, I'm going to turn everything off and make sure everything is... Off, so I get like a good dry mix. Um, next I'm going to go back to my mute, open up track one, play that. Okay, that's right. I want to go back and make sure that all the volumes and all the panning and everything, everything is straight, everything is uh, uh, as high as it can go. I'm going to go to mode, program, scroll to the top, working with track one, so I'm going to turn that as high as it can go, probably to okay, now that sounds good, so now what I'm going to do is go back to my sequence mode scroll through find the sequence I'm working on play it one more time just to make sure okay good, now we're going to mix this down now Usually what I do is I call it the name of the track and just kind of go through each one. But um, I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so MGM1. And if you name them 01, every one after that will be MGM02, MGM03, and so on. So that way when you load them up into your computer, you can label them drums, kick, snare, um, bass, whatever from that point on. Um, but for right now, I just go one through whatever it is I'm working on um, because I know what it is. But sometimes it's, it's best to probably have them all labeled out. But I'm a little lazy when it comes to that shit. So anyway, all right, so now I'm going to put enter. And uh, it's only 17 seconds, so I'm going to let it just play out. Okay, good. I'm just going to let that first one play out so you have an idea. Um, but yeah, so now what you're going to do is go to the next one and pretty much do the exact same thing. Turn off that one, make sure it's good. It sounds a little bit loud. So I'm going to bring it down. And basically, you just go to mix down and see there it is. M2, hit mix, same thing. And you just basically do this for all your tracks that you have until you get to the end. Okay, so now that I've, I've mixed down all these uh, tracks to individual tracks, um, I'm going to save them to the same file on my MPC file because that'll be the easiest place to keep them. Um, and I'm going to save them all there right now. And then from here, after this is done, we're going to upload them to the uh, computer. All right, so now that all your tracks are ready to transfer to the computer, what you're going to do now is you're going to hit USB. Okay, so after you press the USB, this is what should pop up. 
you can go to your libraries here. I like to open up the files like this. Um, come over here to your MPC. Click the file. And there they all are. Okay. Now I use Mixcraft 8, which is a recording, um, mixing, beat making program. And I'm going to show you how I usually just save to the program right off the back. And I remember this being 84.5. That's another thing. Remember to definitely keep your BPMs. Um, I'll call this MGM. Okay. Now there's the program file. So when I go to here, so what you want to do now is you want to highlight all the tracks in the MPC screen and just drag them over and let them save to this file okay now what we're gonna do is open up the file click all these drag and drop and there they are those files are a little small very small actually I probably should go back and do them again but just for the sake of uh, showing you yep, there it is so now you can see I can go back and I can kinda like just flip through each of these and, and uh, you know and you see what I mean? Sometimes they come to the very edge when you're mixing. So it's always best to just kind of overlap them. Or this is a good example, I think, right here of one. Kind of comes to the very edge. Maybe not. But it's always good to just kind of do it. Um, anyway, that's how I do this. This is um, probably the easiest way i found to do this without midding straight in. Midding straight in. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please leave the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer them, questions, all that stuff. Uh, thanks again.